Today is a collaboration with Heartfelt Artistry, and I'm so excited to share. Lamb's artwork is absolutely stunning, and I found her on Instagram and visited her on Facebook. Look at her beautiful paintings. How can you not love that? This is fluid art, y'all. She is so talented, her colors, composition. She has such a unique and beautiful style. Look at those flowers. And she also does these amazing felt scarves and just a really talented, overall, creative, beautiful person. And I'm so excited to get to do this collab with her. I'm excited to tell you about these paints too because I, these are my artscape paints now. Um, you feel pretty special when you get this in the mail. It's that briefcase presentation. It's very substantial and you know I guess if you're a traveling artist it would be nice to have all that in a briefcase and I'm sure you can find other uses for it when it's done but look at all the amazing colors that you get in this set. Lots and lots of pretty um, colors and then each one of them comes in a 100, 100 milliliter tub with light fastness and opacity which I really like. You can just check that out. It's available in my Amazon shop if you're interested. Now this is the color palette inspiration for our collaboration. So I took that and translated it into these paints and these colors. So I used the DecoArt Satin Enamels, the 24 karat gold, this by Folk Art Purple Topaz, if you guys haven't tried that, it's amazing. Ultramarine Blue, Thalo Blue Pale Mauve, and the Violet by My Artscape. Ultramarine Violet by Golden and Iridescent Pearl. Teal by Golden. This crazy weird pink color I had already mixed up. And Mod Podge, you've never seen me show Mod Podge ever on my channel, but that's what we're using today because that's the pouring medium for this. That's Lamb's pouring medium, so I decided to use it, but look at the colors, how rich and glossy they are. And this is kind of the uh, consistency that you're looking for today um, to make these beautiful effects. And so I mixed my colors up just like that, and these are the colors that I used. Let's get started. So Lamb's on the left, and I am on the right. And you can see it's fun to watch side by side. I love the collabs where I can actually edit the video so you can see side by side. I know it's um, not as easy to watch, maybe as um, if you're just watching an artist on their own. But you can go to Lamb's uh, channel and see a full tutorial on this painting and other paintings. But it's interesting, I like kind of seeing side by side, you know, we both have the same color palette and these are different choices. I mean, we made different choices for, for our color layering. and It's always fun to see how artists mind works, you know, what choices she made. She used a lot of different blues in her cup and a lot of different layers in her cup too. Which I think is pretty brave because we're both doing a flip cup. So we're going to start with a flip cup here and she has a pretty big flip cup. We both have the same size canvas. Now, I'm going to add a second cup. Now one thing, we, I did have to torch a lot on this one, you guys. There's a lot of bubbles using the Mod Podge, and that's the only thing that gave me a little bit of pause. Um, otherwise, it was fun to try something different, and it is different than glue. It feels different than glue. Um, so I definitely was impressed with the way it dried and I like the way it felt. Now this is Lamb's cover technique. She covers the pore with another color, allowing some areas to pop through. I tried this once before and failed. 
But what I've learned here by watching and understanding what she's doing, you have to use Mod Podge. <laughs> you can't really use another. You could try it with glue, actually. I didn't try it with glue. But the pouring medium of 60 Floetrol, 30 Mod Podge, and 10 GAC 800 works really good for this technique. And you can see I chose to use white because I'm chicken and, <laughs> and I wanted it to work out. But Lamb's going to use gold and blue. Of course, this is her technique, so she's obviously going to be a little bolder with it than I am. Now she's breaking out the white. So you can see we're covering the pour, um, which seems crazy. You know, you do a flip cup and then you cover it. But some little bits are allowed to pop through there. And of course, as we stretch those, those will get bigger. Now, I don't have enough paint on my canvas, for sure. So I reach over and grab some of my blue and add it to the canvas around the edges. Lama is still adding hers. Now, if you want a full tutorial on this, I think I said that before, but you should, you got to visit her channel. You will be so surprised at all of the beautiful um, artworks that she's done on her channel. She needs and deserves more viewers. So go visit her channel. The link is in the description box when you're done watching this video. You can see it's crazy it just looks like we have a hot mess on our canvases <laughs> sometimes I'm amazed by fluid art and how things can turn out but you can watch here's Lam as she stretches and tilts her canvas you can see those little beautiful pieces peeking out from under her cover technique So it really adds a lot of interest there, those bands of color. And here's my, I'm going to stretch mine out for you and show you what happens. Mine kind of roll over the other colors, so I don't have quite the same look, but it's similar. And I studied her technique quite a bit before I tried, so I wanted to be pretty accurate in expressing uh, her techniques here. This is a 12 by uh, 16, I believe, gallery wrapped canvas, by the way. Now her second technique is called a cupping technique. And this is where she uses the lip of her cup to create these beautiful effects in the paint. Now. In this case, she has a little bit of leftover paint in her cup, and so she's using that to create some beautiful patterns. But she doesn't always, I noticed she doesn't always use paint in her cup. Sometimes her cup is empty, and she's just using the lip of the cup. Sometimes she dips the edge of her cup in paint to pick up a color or two and deposit it where she'd like it. She does all sorts of really beautiful effects in her channel. You have to you have to try that out. Now see, here's what I find totally fascinating when watching her work. She's picking up colors that are underneath that white and pulling them forward. The lip of the cup is literally just kind of reaching down and pulling up some of those colors. That's what the cover technique does. Now, she's wiping her cup so she doesn't deposit colors that she doesn't want to. Um, 
so it's a very deliberate sort of motion here and this is a little bit sped up so you can see in her videos on her channel she's very deliberate and conscientious about how she's doing her uh, technique here you just get all of these little pretty patterns that almost reflect uh, flowers to me so she gets out a smaller cup here and that creates a different effect isn't that a pretty painting look at all the gorgeous effects in there love that and please visit Lamb's channel Heartfelt Artistry for full tutorials. The link is in the description box. Give her a like, comment, and subscribe. Please subscribe to her channel. Um, we all need to support each other and she is an artist that deserves great support. Thank you so much Lamb for joining me today on my channel. Now, I am going to try uh, the cupping technique. So this is Heather's try. I am going to try and see what I can do. So at first, what I notice right away is you're picking up the top layer and it's very easy to go all the way down to the canvas. So that was something I noticed, but also is that totally awesome? I don't have any red in my cup at all. I'm literally just moving that top layer of white. So the cover technique is the, was the white that I used covering that flip cup. And the little red cup is just removing that layer. So now I'm going to get a little bolder <laughs> and I start doing more of like a dragging technique. I'm just dragging the lip around and seeing what I can create. I love the gold and red or pink right there. It turns to like a peach color. Um, so pretty. It's one of the prettiest parts of the painting when it's dried. Now. I get the idea to use my balloon, my glove, it's almost completely out of air, but I don't want to blow up another one. And so I start pressing lightly, not even pressing, it's more of just like a flower dip actually with the glove and then I put a little circle at the end. It's making the most beautiful patterns as it brings up the colors from underneath the white. So pretty. And then I'll take the little cup and kind of accentuate those flowers, especially that one so it matches the other flowers that has the cupping technique. I did three paintings this day. I was so inspired and I just wanted to show this one first, of course, but I have two others and I cannot wait to show those to you. This is a really fun technique, you guys. And the possibilities are endless. I never in a million years thought I would be using Mod Podge, but it was really fun to try. Now look at this flower, oh my gosh. Oh. Isn't that painting, it's just bright and almost like island tropical. It's so vibrant and pretty, fresh, kind of like a spring feel to it. And here it is under the lights I want you guys to see. All the mixtures of metallics and regular paints and I love that part right there. That's my favorite and 
That was so pretty. I thought those My Artscape paints were just gorgeous too. That was lovely. Now here I want to show you, this is dried. This is how pretty this dried. No joke, you guys. So vibrant, completely dried. Just amazing. Thank you so much for coming along with me and Heartfelt Artistry on our journey today. <laughs> Please go visit her channel. Thank you so much. I can't wait to make more beautiful art videos just for you. Bye bye, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and hit all notifications so I can make more art videos just for you.